Hey everybody, Michael Fisher with Pocket Now here at the LG booth at MWC checking out the Optimus L7 II, the follow-on to the uh, L7 of last cycle. Let's have a look. So this is obviously not one of the higher end devices in the lineup, but it does carry a lot of the same characteristics as the other devices we've seen. We have uh, the traditional design where, you know, display centric, earpiece up top, all that kind of stuff. The home button does carry an LED illuminator, which is pre has been present on all the phones we've seen today, but I don't think we've mentioned it yet, and it's one of those nice touches. Obviously, we have uh, the Android keys down here, menu and back. Someone's changed the illumination setting with those. You hop around to the back, you can tell right away this isn't meant to be any kind of a premium device. This is a very kind of micro-stippled uh, plastic back. It doesn't feel terribly premium. It's almost a, a little bit slippery, really. But the camera does have a flash, and this is a uh, an 8-megapixel primary shooter. So there's a couple specs on this thing that are at odds with one another. Your headphone jack, obviously, volume up, volume down, and LG's uh, shortcut into the, uh, the this memo application, which, just like on the others, lets you bring the memo front and center. If you've written down a phone number, you can then copy it right from there and then get rid of it and go about your business. The, uh, that software experience is powered by a one gigahertz processor and uh, the whole shebang is powered by a 2460 milliamp hour battery, which I do not believe is removable. But just a uh, very quick glance at the LG Optimus L72 here at the LG booth. A whole lot more coming from LG and others. Michael with Pocket Now, Tony behind the camera. Stay tuned.